Catholic teaching on welcoming refugees is ancient. It goes back to the beginning of God's relationship with Abraham, so the beginning of our salvation history. From the beginning of scriptures, God reveals a special love for refugees. And so God helps, for example, the people of Israel escape from Egypt. God reminds them never, therefore, to forget their own history. In the book of Leviticus, for example, God would say, do not oppress a foreigner because you yourselves were once a foreigners in Egypt. God's love for the refugee continues throughout all of Scripture until he finally becomes one. Jesus is born to parents who have immediately who had to flee from their homes to Egypt. For as long as we welcome foreigners, we've welcomed him. Catholic teaching on welcoming refugees is comprehensive. Of course, nations have a right to secure their borders and protect their security. Catholic teaching affirms this. But when children, when families are forced to flee their homes for their very survival, Catholic teaching calls on all of us to help. Our teaching calls us to welcome them in our own country, to join in supporting them wherever they end up around the world, and to work to reduce the crises of poverty and hunger and violence that force millions of our brothers and sisters to leave their homes. Catholic teaching on welcoming refugees is clear. The United States is morally obliged to take in families who are fleeing violence in their home countries. Why? The Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches that most prosperous nations should welcome those in search of safety or a livelihood which cannot be found in their own country. We believe that when there are just reasons, like violence or lack of ability to find work to care for your family, refugees must be allowed to migrate to a different country. No matter where you are born, you are a part of a human family and deserve to live in a place that honors your human dignity. Catholic teaching on welcoming the refugee is beautiful. The Church recognizes in every refugee the dignity of the human person created in the image of God. And so we do not see new arrivals to our country as a threat, but as a true gift. We believe that when we welcome the refugee, we welcome Jesus in our midst. We hear Jesus say to the refugee and to the one who welcomes her, Take courage, it is I, do not fear.